this is an interesting math question welcome back to my channel let us simplify this okay now note that 8 can be written as 4 multiplied by 2 so we can write this as square root of square root of 4 multiplied by 2 divided by square root of and 54 is 2 multiplied by 27 plus square root of and 72 is 36 multiplied by 2 okay now remember that square root of a multiplied by b is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b so that means that we can write this as the square root of excuse me the square root of square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 27 plus square root of 36 multiplied by square root of 2 so we have the square root of square root of 4 is 2 so we have 2 root 2 divided by square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 27 plus square root of 36 is 6 so we have 6 root 2 remaining here so this is equal to the square root of 2 root 2 divided by let's factorize root 2 out now root 2 multiplied by root 27 divided by root 2 we remain root 27 plus 6 root 2 divided by root 2 we give us 6 so we have this to be equal to the square root of now root 2 we cancel root 2 we are left with 2 divided by 6 plus root 27 all right now this is a sword at this point we need to rationalize okay so let us rationalize so if we do that we will have the square root the square root of 2 divided by 6 plus root 27 multiplied by 6 minus root 27 over 6 minus root 27 okay all right now we have this to be equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by 6 minus root 27 divided by 6 plus root 27 multiplied by 6 minus root 27 now note that a plus b multiplied by a minus b is equal to a plus a squared minus b squared sorry now in this case our a is 6 and our b is root 27 so we are going to have the square root of 2 brackets 6 minus root 27 divided by 6 squared minus root 27 squared. So this is equal to the square root of 2 brackets 6 minus root 27 divided by 6 squared minus root 27 squared that is 36 minus 27 please click the subscription button turn your notification bell if this is the first time you have seen us yet so that you don't miss our lovely videos and so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new video give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video please don't just watch and pass like comment and share tell us what you don't like about what you're doing or what you love about what we are doing okay unless you at your convenience you must see something new to watch by god's grace okay thank you very much so we continue 
Now, this can be written as the square root of two brackets, six minus. Now, root 27 can be expressed as root nine multiplied by three. Nine multiplied by three, okay? Divided by 36 minus 27 will give us nine. So, this is equal to the square root of two brackets, six minus. So, this is root nine multiplied by root 3, divided, and 9 is same thing as 3 multiplied by 3. Okay? So this is equal to the square root of 2 brackets, 6 minus. Now root 9 is 3, so we have 3 root 3, divided by 3 multiplied by 3. Now note that we can express we can express 6 as 2 multiplied by 3, right? So we can write this as this is equal to the square root of 2 brackets. Now 6 is 2 multiplied by 3. Okay? Then minus 3 root 3 divided by 3 multiplied by 3. Okay? So this is equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by, you can see that we have 3 and we have 3 here, so we can bring it out, multiplied by 3 brackets. So 2 times 3 divided by 3, we have 2, minus 3 root 3 divided by 3, we have root 3. Everything divided by 3 multiplied by 3. So this is equal to the square root of 3, we divide itself, we have 1. So we are left with 2 bracket 2 minus root 3 divided by 3. Okay? Now let's open the bracket. If we do that, we have square root of 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times root 3 is 2 root 3 divided by 3. So this is equal to... Now 4 is same thing as 3 plus 1, right? So we can write it as 3 minus 2 root 3 plus 1 divided by 3. We have not changed anything, right? No, we have not. So, we continue. So, this is equal to the square root of 3 minus 2 root 3 multiplied by 1 because 2 root 3 multiplied by 1 is still 2 root 3 then plus 1 divided by 3. Now, note that square root of a raised to the power of 2 is equal to a. Okay? So that means that we can rewrite this as the square root of 3 square root of 3 squared. Okay? Minus 2 root 3 multiplied by 1 squared. Okay? Then plus 1 squared. Alright. Well, this is just 1. This is just 1 because I have my reason of not squaring it. Though 1 squared is still equal to 1. So I'm trying to manipulate this to give me a an algebra identity. You are going to see soon. Divided by now, 3 can be written as square root of 3 squared. So this is equal to the square root of now, let us introduce an algebra identity that states that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay? So, if you compare this to this, you can see that our a is root 3 and our b is 1. Okay? So, we can write this as the square root of root 3 minus 1 squared divided by root 3 squared, okay? Now, we are almost there. <laughs> yeah. We are almost there. So, that means, remember that 
a minus b sorry remember that a squared divided by b squared is equal to a divided by b raised to the power of 2 okay so that means that we can write this as the square root of root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 all squared okay now remember that square root of a squared is equal to a so that means that we can write this as this we can see this right so we have square root of 3 minus 1 divided by square root of 3 now you know that in mathematics it is not we are always advised to not leave salt as our denominator so we need to rationalize this so rationalize so if we do that we have root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 multiplied by root 3 divided by root 3 so we have root 3 brackets root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 multiplied by root 3 so root a multiplied by root a is equal to a therefore we have root 3 brackets root 3 minus 1 divided by 3 now if we solve for that if we solve for that we have root 3 times root 3 we give us 3 minus root 3 times minus 1 we give us minus root 3 all over 3 and this is the final answer thank you so much for watching see you in my next video